Hey guys! So a few years ago I made this incredibly elegant Cinderella doll cake. She looks stunning. Ruffles and fondant for days. So today I'm going to be answering one question. Can I make this cake in under 30 minutes? 20 minutes. I'm giving myself 20 minutes to recreate this cake. So I've got my doll cake, I've got my fondant, my icing, all of my tools and my Cinderella doll. So let's get started. Ready? Ready? 20 minutes? Is that enough? Yeah, it is. Is it though? And go. What's first? Oh, where's my knife? Okay, so we're gonna cut this into three equal layers. My cake leveler is way too small for this, so I am just going to eyeball it. Is that good? Probably not, but that's okay. I need to take the smallest cake and I need to cut a hole in for her waist. Otherwise, it's not gonna be big enough and then the cake is gonna collapse. And then the middle, we gotta do the middle too. Just cut away. Cut away all of the cake. And now we're gonna add some buttercream. And I decided that I wanted to mix up the buttercream in the middle of the cake with blue and pink. I had them left over from another cake, that's so fine. And I decided that I'm just going to utilize all of my leftover. Does it match with the outside? But that's okay, that's okay too. Well, I guess it's just all blue now. Another cake, there we go. This is not level. That's okay. Just keep going. Keep working it. We don't need this. Not anymore. And we're just going to mix it. There we go. What? This cake is not level. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Crumb coat. We need the crumb coat. So, we've got all of it. Now we're going to give this cake a crumb coat. Okay. I think I have enough time because I don't actually have to carve this cake. Very lightly give this cake a crumb coat. And we're not gonna add that much buttercream because yo, there are, there's gonna be a ton of fondant on this cake. Oh, that's really pretty. This is one of the prettiest crumb coats, look at that. Okay, and I'm feeling this cake now. Check this out. Um, now we have to put in the doll? Is that what we're doing? Yes, okay. So, should I put the fondant on first? No, the doll, okay. At least her hair doesn't get in the way because it's up. Okay, so like that. Good, because there is space in between her legs and the cake, we're gonna add fondant. Just wrap it around. My only concern is I wanna make sure I don't get any of the icing on my cake on the outside of the fondant. Now the reason I do this this way, instead of making the cake go all the way up to her waist, I don't want that much volume by her waist. She doesn't wanna look thick, okay? Sometimes you do. Not on this dress. Now it's time to roll out on of her dress. And I got some blue fondant here. And it's stained just a little bit with some blue food coloring, but that's okay. I'm gonna roll it out. This edible Play-Doh is, is so hard. I don't need this dress. Get out of here. Cut this into a circle. The biggest circle you can. What is her top? Okay, we're gonna put this on the front of the cake. Like you would, like that. And we're gonna add some ruffles. Come on! Ruffle! Is this how I did it in the video? I don't even remember. I should have watched the video before. I'm just pulling on it to create some ruffles. Where? Okay, I think it's like right here. So we're gonna cut away all of this excess. There we go. Look at this back. It's terrible. That's okay. Okay. And we're going to just work the fondant around. Style is that her waist is a little bit thin. Not that it matters. Your waist can be as thick as you want it to be. That's fine. She has ruffles on the side. Too. I need a cookie cutter. We need not that much. We need ruffles. Oh my god, I need magic sauce. I never prepare with a magic sauce. Oh my god! I need a lot more magic sauce. Okay, right there, and on this side. Like that, and then ruffles. Like this. Squish it, squish it up. Squish it. I should have watched this video, why didn't I watch it? So we need to match the ruffles on this side. We need two more. 
towards the bottom of the dress. Like that. Oh, we need white ruffles. Right there? Yeah. This side too. Okay, so I think I got it. So there's ruffles in the middle. Oh God, no, no, like that. I don't even remember doing this. Pull it into this shape, like, that's fine. It's fine, what's next? Lighter at the top. So I've got to mix my own fondant on the spot. Marble fondant, that's fine, it looks classy. This is a classy dress. Everything's okay. Roll it out like that. Where's the quick cutting? And then two half circles. Here too. So we need a darker fondant to create like a cape or a secondary skirt. I don't know the terminology. We're almost done. I'm almost done. So how big does this have to be? Oh, that's perfect. And just ruffle it. Just, however, okay, just ruffle it so that it looks pretty. That's good. And do the same thing on this side. Cut away the extra. The cape is the last piece of fondant that I need to create and then I can do all the detail. Um, like that. And then you put this on like that. Oh my God. <laughs> How many minutes? Four minutes, okay. So I've got all that. Now it's time for the detail, so. The detail, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna cut off some of this fondant so that it's. Piping out a line of dots as detail and just working our dot line all the way around the cake. Whatever the camera can see is what I'm going to ice. This is not a perfect dotted line at all. And some of these lines don't even connect to each other. Um, oh my god. So, there's there's like a decoration here, right? So we're gonna recreate that decoration. I don't even know what that actually looks like, but we're just going to pretend that I'm creating the exact same design. It's white here too. All of this stuff has detail. How did they do all of that? 59 seconds. Okay. And there's butterflies. God. And then she has like a, a, a belt maybe, but it doesn't connect. What else? What else is there? Oh my God, wait. There's like this stuff all over. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Come on! Awesome. Ah! Macaroni. Ah, that was so good. 20 minute doll cake, you guys. <laughs> With all of the detail. Wow. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks pretty terrible. So I love that all the different ruffles were just different pieces because it made it really easy to attach them onto the gown. And this skirt that goes on top of everything hides all of the mistakes on the back. Oh, she has icing in her hair though. Party foul. She looks like her fairy godmother got a little drunk before she did all the magic. So I'm curious, what would you guys rate me on a scale from one to 10? Especially since you've already seen the original. I can't believe I did that in 20 minutes though. And if you want to see more of my under 30 minute cakes, there's an entire playlist for you. And let me know in the comments which of my doll cakes I should do next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!